Thank you. If you have to connect your pad to your phone to activate a hotspot, you're turning off the internet, you're turning off your VPN. How do you protect yourself when you're running on a hotspot? When you're running a hotspot, you enable, uh, well, first of all, when you set up a hotspot, and I actually, for the demonstrations I did today, I actually use my own hotspot, a Verizon hotspot. And what I do is I enable what they call WPA2, which is a security protocol, wireless security protocol. So when I'm talking, when my computer is communicating with this device, it's encrypted, right? So if you have your own personal hotspot, you absolutely should. I think by default, a lot of uh, mobile operators are, you know, enable WPA2, but you should absolutely not have it open. Um, and that's actually better than using an open wireless access point. Is bringing your home, uh, bringing, I mean, purchasing and then bringing to wherever you need to use an internet, bringing your own device with you. Now, is that end all and be all of not being hacked? No, because we have things called MC catchers. Law enforcement uses these devices called stingrays. And what they do is they're able to intercept and tamper with communications on cellular devices. And this hotspot is only a cellular device. So now that law enforcement and intelligence agencies use this technology, the hackers have built the same type of technology for a lot cheaper to do the same type of attacks. But again, it's a lot harder, and uh, your adversary is going to have to do more work to exploit you. And the criminal hackers are lazy, right? They want to exploit targets that are easy to gain, to gain, to financially gain. If you're a target because someone's doing an economic espionage or you're working for a federal government and you have some information, then it might be worth the adversary's time to target you with a more, uh, more sophisticated exploit.